Hello and welcome to Track Ops. I'm your host today. I'm Chuck Cox. And today we're going to be walking you through how to create an event directly from your case. So I'm actually in my case overview here of a recently created case. And I have an event that I need to schedule. I need to schedule that event and then I need to assign my investigator to it. And so if I'm just going to do that directly from my case, then I can just click the new button here and it'll bring me my drop down list and I can click new event. And this will bring us to our new event creation page. And the system is going to ask you to enter in some identifying information about this event. The first of which is the title. So we can title our event. Next it asks us for the case. Because we created this event directly from the case, it auto-populates the case number for us, so we don't need to change anything there. We can add a subject. Because our video surveillance event is centered around Peter Baelish, our primary subject, we can select him as our subject on this event. We can also select a service, so we need video surveillance as our ser selected service for this event. We can then select the calendar that we want to put this event under. I actually have a dedicated surveillance calendar, so I'll add this event to that. Then we want to choose our start and end time. Moving through, we can add a time zone. You want, obviously want to match the time zone to the location of the event so that when your investigator checks in to that event, the time zone matches. And if you have questions about check-ins or event check-ins, I'll drop a quick link in the video here to an article on our support site about how to do that. Moving along, we can select an existing case address. So if we click here, we have a couple of existing case addresses. These addresses are actually associated with our subject profile. So when we created our subjects, we add these addresses to them. And then we can quickly populate them on an event. Then we come to our assign to field. So this is how we assign our investigator to the event. And you'll notice that there's a nice nifty button here on the right called recommend. And if we click that, it'll bring up our recommended investigators for this event based on a certain set of common scheduling criteria. The first of which is the licensing. So if your investigator is licensed to work in the state that the event is taking place, then that'll give the investigator a boost over other investigators. The next is scheduled hours. So how many hours has he already scheduled that week? Tyrion is currently not scheduled for any hours that week, so that gives him another boost. Video surveillance is actually the preferred service for this investigator. So on the investigator's profile, we've selected video surveillance as a preferred service. And so that gives him a boost because this event is a video surveillance service event. Colorado is our case region because on Tyrion's profile, again, he's selected to be preferred to work in the Colorado case region. That gives him another boost. It also gives the distance of the investigator to the address on the event. So Tyrion's actually, you know, about a mile away from the event address, and that gives him a boost. Scheduled all days, how many all day events they're scheduled for that week. Expensed hours, how many hours they've expensed for that week. There are a couple other criteria on here not listed that make up the rating for each investigator. One of those is the preferred investigator. So if the investigator is listed as preferred for that client on the case, then it'll give him a boost as well. It'll give him a boost as well. Additionally, the last location, so the approximate distance from the last lo known location to the event address will also be listed here. And so if we scroll down, we can see other investigators start to populate. Their points aren't as high as Tyrion because they don't have the same scheduling criteria as Tyrion does. So he's clearly our best fit investigator to work this event. So all I have to do is simply click his name, and now he's assigned to the event. I can also alert him. So I can say, okay, a day before, uh, a couple hours before, maybe an hour before, just to let him know that the event is, is coming up as a reminder. And then once I get all this information in here, I can save the event. And now the event is created and my investigator is assigned to it. If you have any other questions about creating events in Track Ops or any other questions in general about the system, you can always drop us a quick email at support at trackops.com and we'll get your question as quickly as possible. Thanks again for using Track Ops.